I just want to come in and have a visit with you. Let us forget all that has pressed itself in upon us to make us sometimes feel that God the good is not all in all. Here in the silence we shall know the presence of God and see clearly just how we are to go about living the life that he is giving us, so we may bring forth the order, beauty, and freedom that he has planned and that are now awaiting our understanding use. But let us not go too far into the metaphysics of this wonderful thing. Instead, we are here together just to rest quietly and happily in reality. As we do this, a real transformation will be worked in us and for us. We shall reap the good fruits of our study, affirmation, and meditation. We know from our experience in unity that there is almost a universal lack of understanding of the truth of being. When we use the word truth, we mean that which is true of God and true of God's children. This spiritual truth is that you are God's own beloved child and that God is ever giving you his own wisdom, love, power, life, and substance. In the past, we have been led to believe that we are the children of physical parents and that we must get our impressions and education, form our living habits, and even do our work in the way that they direct. Because of this, we have failed to wake up and find out that we are really God's children and that we have inherited from Him a perfect mind which is capable of unfolding the wonderful Christ qualities as Jesus Christ unfolded His God-given mind. As we become aware of the truth that we are God's children and that God is the very intelligence within us, we discover that health also is our inheritance from the Father. We learn, too, that there is divine law in life with established rules that make for health, happiness, and prosperity if we live by them. As we learn that we are God's children living here to find out His plan for us, we become more and more interested in studying spiritual things for ourselves. We are no longer willing to accept the opinions of others, nor to live as they live, especially if their ways bring sickness and sorrow. We begin to feel, rightly, that there must be a way of living that will keep us well and happy. The real purpose of your life is to express the creation of God, to unfold the many departments of your mind which God has planned for you and which will enable you to know and to do His will. When you know that there is nothing for you to worry about or to fear, you may then relax and feel happy. The soul must be awakened brought to a realization of truth and encouraged in the righteous use of all the God-given faculties and powers. The individual must be helped to unify his spirit, soul, and body in harmonious spiritual living, here and now. God, my Father and your Father, has made me to know that no matter what I have done or what others have done to me, he has implanted within me the pattern of perfection. He has given me the life, power, intelligence, and substance out of which I may recreate my soul qualities and my physical structures, and so come forth a new creature. You too, by studying and proving this truth, can do the same. Now, because of God's great understanding love, 
which Jesus Christ has helped us to comprehend and realize, we are beginning to catch glimpses of what the Father is and what he has for us and what we are in truth. We are beginning to learn that life is our gift from the Father, a gift that is never withdrawn, never lessened, never limited by the giver. We are beginning to enjoy this gift and to yearn to know how to make right use of it so that we may have the fullness of joy and blessings in it. We are starting to discover that we can actually do the splendid things we were created to do and came into the world to do. This realization should send a glow of warmth and happiness and a quickening of life all through our being. Truly it is of great value for us to set to work to perfect anything and everything that we may find that does not measure up to the best that our new light shows us. We shall discover that it is much more important to change and to do that which is really best for our progress and our health than it is to be smugly consistent or to make the excuse that we have always done thus and so it is too late to change now. The moment we discover anything undesirable in our minds or our lives, we should seek to make the changes necessary to bring about that which is desirable. Don't be concerned if you don't always get from your study and your prayers the results that your senses take cognizance of. Your spiritual awakening is the important thing. It will increase your consciousness of your unity with God-mind and will give you greater freedom of expression through the various centers of consciousness in your body. Your spiritual study will call these disciples or centers of yours into finer embodiment so that they will be alert and responsive. It will be up to you to give them the true ideas and set them to work, proving the truth each in the thing it is called to do. Life is a school. The great schoolmaster knows just what problems we need to keep us alert and to bring out the wonderful qualities that the Father has measured out for us to come up to. That is our purpose in life, to succeed in bringing forth God's perfect idea, the perfect man. In the beginning, God created man in his own image and likeness even as he created the little seed to bring forth of its kind. As lives the flower in the seed, so lives the Christ in me. The germ of God-likeness slumbers in us, and it should be our true aim in being to make manifest this perfect self or Christ of God in our lives. All of us, sooner or later, come to the place in our development where we are no longer satisfied to go on living the old life without the knowledge of our oneness with God, the source of our being. Sometimes, when we reach this point in our soul's progress, we do not at first know just what is taking place. We may become restless and dissatisfied, we may go through experiences which we do not understand. We may even be tempted to think that our good has gone from us. But just as surely as there is God, the one presence and one power, we shall find that all is well and that we are but going from one room, as it were, into another larger and lighter room. As we leave old circumstances, beliefs, habits, and desires behind 
and seek to understand and to enter into and get the blessings out of the larger life which is ever opening to us, we are filled with a sense of peace, freedom, and assurance that all is well. We should then turn our attention within and devote ourselves to those thoughts and acts which make for poise, order, health, and success. As we realize that we are God's children, that we have power and authority to think and to speak the good and true, and to have it manifest in harmonious relations and pleasant surroundings, we no longer invite or submit to inharmony, misunderstandings, or limitations. We place ourselves in God's keeping and think truth, and it directs us in ways of peace and pleasantness. As we think of others as God's children, we see them in a new light. We understand how it is that they are trying to unfold and use the faculties and powers God has implanted in them, and we have compassion if they seem to fall short at times. We also have power to speak truth for them, to bless them, and to help them. Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Matthew 5, 6 All of us are hungering and thirsting after righteousness. All of us are learning how to receive that which feeds and satisfies us. So you may rejoice this moment that the Holy Spirit is blessing you with the very things you need and will continue to show you more and more of truth until you put on the full Christ consciousness. Don't bother about what has been or what seems to be taking place at present or what is to come in the future. Leave past, present, and future in God's hands. Leave yourself in God's care and keeping and just do that which will furnish spirit with the necessary cooperation and the necessary materials to be converted into harmony, strength, and health of body. <laughs>